TrueNAS Scale's native Docker and Kubernetes functionality provides users a quick and easy way to deploy and run containers with just a few clicks. In this video, we'll be installing and configuring Nextcloud and Collabora on TrueNAS Scale. Ready? Let's get started. Head over to your TrueNAS Scale's web UI and log in with your username and password. We're going to create a dedicated dataset for our fresh Nextcloud installation. If you already have a dataset defined you'd like to use, you can skip this step. Head over to storage on the left, and on the right side of the screen, locate the 3 ellipses next to your dataset and select Add Dataset. We'll be naming our new dataset Nextcloud Data, and then we'll scroll down to the bottom and click Save. All of the defaults are fine for us here. Once the new dataset is built, you should see it listed below. Now let's get Nextcloud installed. Head over to Apps on the left. We currently have no apps installed on our TrueNAS scale system, so we see no apps listed under the Installed Applications tab. Let's navigate up to the Available Applications tab. If this is the first time you've created an app on TrueNAS scale, you'll be asked to choose a pool for your app's storage. We'll select our pool, name Tank, and click Choose. The process completes quickly. TrueNAS provides a variety of officially maintained apps, and the selection is continually growing over time. We provide an officially maintained app of Nextcloud that we can install quickly. Locate the Nextcloud app in the list below and click the Install button on the card. We'll need to give our new Nextcloud app a name. We'll name ours Nextcloud and click Next. On the next screen, our first stop is to select the certificate we'll be using to secure Nextcloud's web interface. Using a certificate is not required for Nextcloud by itself, but is required when integrating Nextcloud and Collabora together, and it's highly recommended to encrypt traffic when possible. We'll click the drop-down and select the default self-signed certificate that was created by TrueNAS Scale. Below, you can set the local admin password for the Nextcloud install. By default, the password is ChangeMe. You can choose to change the default admin password now, or leave what's there and change it from the web UI of Nextcloud later. Click Next once you've made your changes. In the Storage Config section, we can define our host path location for our Nextcloud data. This is where we'll assign the dataset we created just a bit ago. Check the box labeled Enable Host Path for Nextcloud Data Volume, and navigate through to the new dataset you created. Once selected, click Next. Next is the cron job configuration setting. Nextcloud can be configured to execute background tasks via cron job. It's recommended you enable cron jobs for Nextcloud, though the additional configurations of this are outside the scope of this video. We highly recommend reading into the cron job configuration features in the Nextcloud documentation. We'll click Enable cron jobs for Nextcloud, leave the default settings, and click Next to continue. On the next few screens, we won't be making any changes, so click Next through them to continue. On the final step, we see all of the configurations for our new Nextcloud app. If you change the admin password, you'll see it shown here as well as the path we configured for our Nextcloud data. When you're ready to kick off the install, click Save. Once we click Save, the initial installation will begin. During this process, your TrueNAS scale system will download the app and begin the installation. We can check on the app's deployment status by navigating over to Installed Applications at the top. Here we can see our Nextcloud application is in the process of being deployed. This process can take some time depending on your hardware. Be patient and allow the deployment to finish. Now that Nextcloud is installed, let's move on to Collabora. Let's get Collabora installed. Head back over to the Available Applications tab, locate the Collabora app below, and click the Install button to start the Collabora installation. Like the Nextcloud app install, our first stop is to give our Collabora app a name. We'll enter in Collabora and navigate down and click Next. On the next screen, we can choose to change the default admin password, which by default is ChangeMe, or change it later from the Collabora admin UI. We'll leave our set to default. In the certificate section, we'll need to choose the certificate we'll be using to secure the Collabora site. Like we did in the Nextcloud app config, we'll click the dropdown and select the default TrueNAS cert and click Next. On the next few steps, we'll be leaving the defaults and won't be making any changes, so click Next through them until you reach the final step. On the last screen, we see all the configurations we set for our new Collabora app. If you change the admin password, you'll see it shown here. When you're ready to kick off the install, click Save. Once we click Save, the initial installation will begin. Like with the Nextcloud install, your TrueNAS scale system will download the app and begin the installation, and we can check on its deployment status by navigating over to Installed Applications at the top. Now that we've successfully installed both Nextcloud and Collabora on our TrueNAS scale system, it's time to configure Nextcloud to use Collabora. We'll have multiple tabs open during this portion of the configuration, so we've brought back the address bar of our Chrome browser. Our first stop is to open Nextcloud, have a look around, and install the Collabora app. Click on the Web Portal button on our Nextcloud card. A new tab opens and we're greeted with the logon screen for Nextcloud. 
The default username is admin and the default password is change me unless you changed it during the app installation process. Enter in your credentials and click login. Welcome to Nextcloud. Our first login is greeted with an introduction of all the great features and functionality Nextcloud has right out of the box. We'll click through these screens to get back to the Nextcloud dashboard. Nextcloud is a fantastic way to build your own private cloud, keep your data under your control, and make it accessible anywhere you'd like. Nextcloud provides a Dropbox-like experience and provides access to your data via the web, mobile apps, integrations, and more. Now that we've gotten a feel for what Nextcloud offers out of the box, let's begin integrating Collabora and take your web collaborations to the next level. On the top right corner, click the user settings icon, navigate down to apps, and click it. Nextcloud has an impressive library of apps, plugins, and features that you can install. To locate the Collabora app, we'll head over to the search icon on the top of the screen and type in Collabora. There are three different apps available for Collabora and the top option, Collabora Online, is the one we want. So we'll navigate over to the Download and Enable button on the right and click it. The app install into Nextcloud is very quick. Now let's head back over to our TrueNAS tab in our browser, navigate over to the Collabora card, and click Web Portal. The default user for Collabora is admin, and the default password is change me unless you entered a unique password during the app installation process. Once you've entered in your credentials, click Sign In. The admin UI for Collabora is very lightweight by design and doesn't require any initial configurations to be integrated with Nextcloud. When you log in, you'll land on the overview page, which provides you an at-a-glance view of open documents and users online, as well as a few resource and usage statistics. On the left side, you'll find an analytics tab that provides a three-minute running graph of Collabora's memory, CPU, and network utilization. The History tab provides you visibility into documents that have been opened or expired, and the Log tab provides a running log of the events occurring in Collabora. These tabs are useful if you need to keep track of resource utilization or are having issues within Collabora. We only need one bit of information from this tab to complete our configuration in Nextcloud, and that's the URL in the address bar. At the top of your browser window in the address bar, make note of or copy the URL of your Collabora instance. Now let's head back over to the Nextcloud tab in our browser. Navigate back to the top right admin settings area and click settings. This is the settings page for your user and if you have admin rights, the settings for all of your Nextcloud instance. We need to tell Nextcloud how to reach out and talk to Collabora. Navigate over to the left and find Nextcloud Office. Within the Nextcloud Office settings page, we have a few options for configuring Collabora with Nextcloud. We're running our own server of Collabora on TrueNAS scale, so we'll navigate to the first radio button and click it. Now we need to enter the URL for our Collabora server. This is the path we made note of from the Collabora tab just a bit ago. You can either paste in the full URL, including the port number, or manually enter it. Collabora requires SSL for security, and we chose the default self-signed SSL certificate generated by TrueNAS on install. So we need to click the checkbox Disable Cert Verification below to complete the setup. Finally, we'll click Save, and the configuration for Collabora on Nextcloud is complete. Let's see it in action. Navigate back up to the Files app in Nextcloud. We can create a new Office document quickly and easily by clicking the plus icon in the top of the middle window. We can now select from a variety of different Office document types like word processing docs, spreadsheets, presentations, or diagrams. As an example, we'll create a new presentation by selecting New Presentation and click the right arrow button to begin editing the document. Collabora provides a few different templates to choose from. We'll select Simple and click Create. From this point on, you can create a variety of different Office documents, share them with others, and even collaborate with people on the same document in real time, all from your new Nextcloud instance running on TrueNAS scale. This is a great time to mention that we have a ton of helpful documentation and resources to help you get the most out of TrueNAS scale, and our fantastic community is full of great people who are willing to help answer any questions you might have. We highly recommend you check out our docs, bookmark them, and join the community. Thank you for watching.